Bitch, best serve like steak. Well done, get a gun in your face, bitch, nigga. People have you praying to God. Both your kids have you hiding your mom. Because when you got behind the mother niggas, but they ain't killers, they ain't pulling them triggers. Fuck niggas. People have you keying our cars. Heart broke, yours don't look like ours. Still niggas ain't fine, but I think Jim Jones jumped out the window. Now, and I know we're all entitled to our, to our pains. I mean, it's is hip hop. But sometimes, I think, I think Jimmy's baking. Jimmy is definitely baiting push. You know, Swiss was just on the Breakfast Club. He was talking about the verses. And he was like, when he bring it back, he wants to be something. Me personally. Let me go ahead and get that push and Jim Jones verses. Because I guarantee you, Despite what Jim Jones like, Jim Jones got some bangers. He definitely came a long way from being trash, being Cameron's hype man, being the mascot of Dip Set, to being uh, in the front line. But I don't want y'all to think that this is me being biased, being from VA, being from Norfolk. But let's just be honest. Like we talk about Pusha T on top fifty. Now, I think he belongs on the list because the thing about it is again, like people don't read. They everybody keeps t- still talking about this list and what the criteria was. If you read the article, if you read what it was. Because some, a lot of times people just see the names and the positions that they're in, and then they automatically just go off. But you gotta remember, like, Push been in the game for damn near 30. I ain't gonna, well, let's see, I remember being. Freshman in high school, so that was old one. So you gotta think, yeah, you might well say he was in there pretty much. He was, he's been in the game for a minute. Jim's been in the game for a minute. They have a pretty decent, decent, a decent even amount of time been in the game. But you know, Jimmy, talking about there's not five records. Because he was, I think he, I think he's, I think since Drake, and I know a lot of people already said it, but I think Drake kind of hyped him up a little bit. Because, you know, the thing with Push, though, man, like, he be cool. Like, he'll, he'll release, he'll drop some music, and then he'll be out the way. So it's not like he, like, we know what it is. Everybody in the game know what it is with Push. Man, everybody in the game know what it's Jim, but I think Jim jumped out the window. I think that was like some type of clickbait, you know, because that even with the Exodus, even with the Exodus uh, record, a lot of people like made it something that that was a this to Wayne, this to Drake. You know, people think know that this Drake and Push thing been kind of going for a minute. But I'm gonna say it here live. God, Lord knows if Jimmy want that smoke. If Jimmy want that smoke, if we hear, if we can play twenty records, Jim and Push, my money gonna be on Push for real. And maybe to the, maybe somebody want to 
even just have a friendly, just have like a friendly battle on that, I'm welcome to it. But yeah, Jimmy jumped out the window. And again, I love Jim, but I think when he was talking about, started talking about like NBA young boy and freaking 21, I'm like, nah. I'm just like, why is he like, because he was, he was kind of like basing it off of whether Chicks wanted to smash him. People wanted to be like him. Like, what, what did they transcend? What did they do? But it's like, nah, like, everybody wasn't, there's, there's, a, there's mad people on that list that people weren't really trying to be like. Jada was on the list. Karis one was on the list. Now, there was a lot of other people on the list that probably should have been up there. Over others, but I know again, I, I know why they was, who was on the list was on the list. I don't think Cam was on the list. I don't think nobody from Dipset was on the list, to be honest. I mean, I now should sure Cam be up there? I mean, maybe. But at the same time, push, man, like, you no. Know, People don't really be giving him the credit. I mean, even people at home, I mean, people talk about, you know, VA sometimes stay like, VA, like, VA is, like, those who, if you know, you know. Because I'm not even going to tell you my name is my name, that na- my name is my name. I'm like, they had some, even though most, I think all of them have features on them, but like, those records alone, 40 Acres with the Dream, Sweet Serenade with Brown, Snitch with Pharrell, Nostal, Nost- like, come on. And then, like, we can even get into his solo bag, like, when he first, like, when he released his first solo project, you know, I think it was on um, Fear of God, or Earth and That Glitter. Chaining the gods, amen, like, trouble my, trouble my mind, that was, come on now, alone in Vegas, come on, like, what is Jones talking about, and you don't really even want to get in his clips bad, like, but again, Push will definitely do his thing with Jim, it might be a good versus though. But I just felt like um, Jim jumped out the window with that when he said, you know, he belonged. He didn't belong there. You know, he, like, come on. Come on. But that's pretty much all, like, I really just wanted to, you know, say that. Like, Puss been kind of like, even though he doesn't, like, rock, Records like yearly, like it's almost as like when he when he brings it, he brings it. Like push is up there in that conversation. Like Jim, kind of what he he had got a good what five year run, like all his albums that he that released within the last five years or whatever. I mean, maybe t- maybe it's even longer because time flies. It's fine, but. You know, he get he gets something like when Jim gets going, like he he be thinking he be he be smelling himself a little bit. But I'ma still say like this balling is still probably his biggest record. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But yeah, maybe Jim want to smoke. I mean, maybe he just maybe he's just kind of baiting push. Because Push ain't one of them dudes that's gonna, you know, he he's gonna, you know, he don't really get into like really into that like publicity of things. You know, he kind of like dibbles and dabbles here and there with, when when he's doing like layer of exercise. We know what he did with Drake and everything, but like Push is gone. Like Push, he sees it. I know he sees it, and. 
me as a Virginia native, as a hip hop fan, as a clips fan, and this that fan, and me this is not and this is again not me being biased. Like I got pushed on it. So Jim, go ahead and get, pull out your kufi. Bring Freaky Ziki, bring Jewels, bring Cam, bring Mace. You can bring bring your Bird Gang. You can bring you know One Eye Willie, all that stuff. But look, come on, because I really think that's what it is. I really think that's what Jimmy's trying to do. He's trying to big push. So come on with it. Come on with it, Jim. I'm standing with push on this one, man, because you jumped up like, I can go into a whole rant about it, but I'm not. Thank you all for listening. Stay safe, stay positive. If anybody want to come and challenge me, if anybody want to challenge me, if anybody want to take Jim and I take push, if anybody want to do this. Because Jimmy jumped out the window, and he knows he jumps out the window. But that's all I'm going to say. Everybody's entitled to opinion. But once again, like I said, sometimes those opinions kind of... What did um? What does Roman 23.1 say? I mean, Exodus 23.1. Do not spread false reports. Do not help a guilty person by being a malicious witness. So, Jimmy, what you're doing, you're spreading false reports. You know, it's an opinion, but you, you like, that's one of those opinions where it's like, hey, just, hey, if you want to smoke, just say that. That's all you got to say. You know, be safe out here. No, this is good. This is, this is what hip hop's about. You know what I'm saying? I know pushing. Jim ain't no strangers to beef, but this ain't no beef. But I'm just telling here to hear, tell y'all listeners. You know, reporting here from VA, from North of VA, that Jimmy jump out the window. Push her can't well show you why he's called the push. So I'm telling you right now. Get your, get your records ready, y'all, because it's coming. Swiss town. We we gonna do this New York New York VA collision again. Come on with it. You know the love for New York and VA, you already know it's there. You know, Tim to go ahead and Tim go ahead and grab push. Swiss go ahead and grab Jim man, like it's it's too it's too good. It's too good to really miss to miss that correlation. It's too good to miss that correlation. Like, don't play with my man Push, yo. I know I didn't have said my my piece as far as about the him and the Drake things in the past, but I mean it's still love. Like I said, I'm a Drake fan. But at the same time, like I said, this is hip hop, yo. But hip hop is is a competitive sport sometimes. But when you start saying certain things out there, like for the like for the whole world to listen to and chime in on, oh, there's gonna be some chiming in. I can put like I will go, I will go head to head with anybody. I'm gonna put get my twenty records ready just in case push don't want to get it ready. Well, I'll get mine ready. Shoot, because see, beef, beef is a whole different thing. But we can do a battle. We can do a versus. Stop spreading false reports, Jimmy. Where where do you put yourself on the list? Because Jim Jim Jones is one of them guys, like he will put himself as number one on the list. I mean, he'll know like again the coast the holes, the nines and everything, but he will put himself top ten. And I know people will say 
that's what you're supposed to do. But there's also that that honesty, that awareness of yourself. But again, you could just be somebody who just loves the rap because that's what Jimmy does. He loves the rap, like I said. Because before he wasn't really taking it serious, then he had some good, good um albums that dropped a couple albums, and then you know, once that vampire life started kicking in, we seen whole little Jimmy, Lobby Boys, Mano. Like I get it, I understand. But Jimmy, somebody need to grab Jimmy, man, because that dude jumped out. But that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. No, I know he dropped something with um, a young bird hit maker. But, that's again, but again, they, no, he hasn't missed in a while. Jim hasn't missed in a while. But I don't think Puss missed at all. So, let's get it. Y'all stay safe, stay proud of the Blow your cancer, kid, bear. Thanks for listening. I'm out. Come on.